Merry Christmas, everyone, from Killin Parish, Mans. Hope you had a great day yesterday. There's a song uh, at Christmas time which uh, has a line in it. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Well, it certainly hasn't done that this year or indeed last year. There have been weird Christmases. Hopefully we've all been able to at least meet up this year with some of our families, uh, even if there are other restrictions. But what should Christmas look like anyway? Well, of course, we all have our favourite uh, moments in Christmas uh, and all the celebrations and the things that we enjoy. But of course, the clue is in the word. Uh, Christmas. Christ. It's about Christ. A rejoicing, a remembering that he came, that he was born. Let me read some words from John's Gospel. And he talks about Jesus being the word or the logos in Greek. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. Amen. Heavy stuff. A little baby born in a manger 2,000 years ago. And here we have these exalted words about who he was. This Christmas story is incredibly profound. Some people would say incredibly weird. And yet it has inspired 2,000 years of faith, hope and love. And in a sense, the birth of Jesus was just the beginning. Someone once said that the trouble with Christmas is that the bills come in January and the baby grows up. I suppose it's easy to think of Christmas as a Christian celebration because it's inoffensive. Who can be offended by a little baby? Whereas some people are offended by the story of Easter. The crucifixion's a pretty weird thing. And in the resurrection, we're too. And yet without the birth of Jesus, there wouldn't be, be the Easter story. Without Christmas, no Easter. And the two of them are connected. And the story of Jesus is connected to something bigger than itself. A major theme of the Bible is there's a new world waiting to be born. A new world waiting to be born. And Jesus and the story of Jesus is an episode in that timeline from creation to the consummation of all things, the beginning and the end. And we have the calling of the Jewish people, the, the calling of Abraham, with the promise that through him and his offspring, the whole world would be blessed. And we have the people of Israel carrying the torch about this weird and strange God, the only true God. And then through Israel and through the Jewish people comes the Messiah. And the Messiah is the springboard to go out into the whole world. So in the biblical timeline, what we get are metaphors and anecdotes and stories that sometimes are reapplied as it, we go through the timeline. So in a sense, we are Abraham's sons and daughters today. Although we're not Jewish, the Jewish people were chosen to be a light to the rest of the world. And through them came the Messiah. So we can claim a lot of the promises that are in the Old Testament. They apply to us as God's people because we've been uh, grafted in to this wonderful story. Uh, that is powerful in meaning and relevance for the whole world. If we stop to think about Bible themes, well, there are many. Lostness, brokenness, wilderness wanderings, 
hope, healing, redemption. It's all there. A sense of identity and purpose too. And at the end of this talk, there will be a link to a song that I only came across recently. And boy, does it mean a lot to me. It's called Zion. Now, Zion, you will have heard the, the, the word Zionist in relation to modern Israel. But Zion was the, the name of the hill on which Jerusalem is built and where the temple is. So it referred to the temple, the hill that the temple was on. And then by extension to the whole of Jerusalem, and then by further extension to the whole of the kingdom of Israel and God's purposes there. So this song is about the return of exiles and it's a very Jewish song, although interestingly it's written by Messianic Jews. These are Jews who are Jewish, but they believe that Jesus or Yeshua is the Messiah. And they've penned uh, that song to indicate this. And it's full of imagery about the turn of the exiles, about the prodigals coming home. And under, e under each uh, photograph, there's a biblical text. And the words of the song are just so powerful and moving because I want us to relate to these themes. I want 2022 to be a year when those of us who have a church connection or maybe have lost a church connection, to renew our faith and like prodigals to return, like exiles to be gathered in by God, to become the family of God yet again. I urge you to watch it and actually to listen to it more than once. I am convinced you will really appreciate how powerful and moving it is because of the imagery, the words, and of course the Bible verses that accompany it. I want that to be a theme for this coming year as we go into it with future reflections. Let this be the year of return, the year of the exiles and the prodigals coming home. Because Christmas is not a standalone event. The coming of Jesus was to fulfill the promises to Abraham and for the message to go out and to bring in people to the kingdom and that's the challenge for the church to explain that to proclaim that and to invite people to come and join the party to come into the kingdom and realize where God's love truly is where his grace his mercy his healing can be found and that's the message of Christmas Yes, it's profound in its sense of understanding of the word becoming flesh and a little baby in all the vulnerability of that. But that's just an episode in the bigger story. And Christmas fits into all of that. It proclaims that the, the, the promise to Abraham and the blessing to be found in Abraham is found in Jesus Christ. And it's not just for the Jewish people, it's for the whole world. That's an amazing story and that should be our focus for this coming year. So let this Christmas be the start of something good and big. And as we go into the new year, may we be open to what God is saying to us and how he's leading us and guiding us. And maybe he's calling us to come home. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this amazing story. And that the part that we play in it, for here we are, listening to the words of John's Gospel, celebrating the coming of the Christ child and recognising this is something bigger than all of us. But give us excitement in our hearts as you draw us closer to yourself. And may this coming year be a year of faith, hope and love. In Jesus Christ, the one who came at Christmas. Amen. Let's say 
the response together. The light of the world has come. Jesus is the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness will never overcome it. Amen. God be with you all. Thank you for watching.